Hi everyone, and welcome to Billy's Test Kitchen. Before we get started with today's recipe, I just wanted to reach out to all of you and kind of give you some insight as to why I'm doing all of this. And really with the staying home and being safe, making sure that all of our loved ones stay safe, we stay safe, we stay healthy, uh, this has really been my way of really engaging with my friends, my family, make sure we have something to talk about, laugh about, and it's a way for me to just keep myself grounded and really make sure that I can stay sane throughout this process. Um, I really do enjoy food. I do enjoy cooking. It really is something that makes me happy. I enjoy people sitting around the table, talking, laughing, having a glass of wine, whatever it may be. And so this really is my way of keeping my connections alive, keeping my connections strong with my friends and my family, whether they're a mile away or 3,000 miles away. So these videos are for you, they're for me. I hope you enjoy them. I hope that you try out the recipes, uh, send pictures, give me a call, send me a message. I wanna see what you're making, how your version comes out, what you did differently. And let's just remain connected, keep the conversation going, and keep the food going. So with that said, today we're making breakfast burritos. It's my all-time favorite. I search for them when I go to restaurants, and I've been having a craving for breakfast burritos, and I finally got a tortilla. So that's what we're going to do today. So today's episode is all about breakfast burritos. All right, so today's all about breakfast burritos, and I'm going to share with you what we're going to need for this. So obviously, we're going to need a tortilla. So for this one, I'm using a 12-inch tortilla, flour tortilla. I've got two potatoes, an avocado, two tomatoes, two eggs, and our spices here. So for potatoes, we're going to need half, I'm sorry, a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of dried garlic, one teaspoon of dried dill, and one teaspoon of sumac. I'm not sure if you will have this in your pantry. Uh, if you don't, send me a message. I can, you know, try to help you find it where you can get it. Um, as far as the sumac, if you can find it, I recommend you find one that has the least amount of salt in it. There are some brands out there that just have way too much salt and you all you do is taste salt. You don't really taste the spice of the sumac uh, or the flavor of the sumac. So less salt, better. For our tomato and eggs, uh, which we're just making a simple omelet with, you'll need a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. On the turmeric, you don't want to go too heavy. It's got a really strong taste to it. And unless you like that taste, just a little bit less than a quarter teaspoon will be enough. Uh, I've also got some pickled Thai chili peppers that my mom made. If you like spice, it's a great taste. Uh, she used, I believe, apple cider vinegar to make this. And if you don't want to use this, another great option is to use sriracha. So if you've got a favorite sriracha sauce or any kind of salsa that you want to use, uh, you can also use that as well. Uh, personally, I like the taste of sriracha, so for this recipe, we're going to use sriracha. So follow me over the stove, I'm going to get this all prepped over, I'm going to chop my potatoes, get those into small squares, evenly cut so they cook evenly, so you're not overcooking or undercooking some of them. The tomatoes also I'll chop up and get those pureed, or rather sauteed, on the cast iron pan. So follow me over and we'll get things started. Okay, so I've got everything going here. We're gonna be using our pot to boil our potatoes. We're gonna be using our cast iron to get our tomatoes going. And 
I've got everything prepped. I've got my tomatoes chopped into small cubes. The same thing with my potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the potatoes into the water. Just like that. Did we lose one? Let's grab that really quick. Don't like wasting. So we'll go ahead and put our tomatoes in. So before adding our spices for the tomatoes, we're going to go ahead and let this saute and begin to reduce before we add that. Going to keep our cast iron on high for a bit, bring that up to temperature. And remember, once you get your pan up to temperature, you're not gonna be constantly cooking on high. You're gonna to have to learn what temperature your stove works best at so you're not, A, burning your food. You don't wanna burn your food, obviously. Uh, but also, you don't want it to start sticking. So if you notice that it starts sticking, then you've got it too high. You're gonna to have to reduce the temperature. Another thing you should know about cast iron is if you're cooking with acidic foods, then that'll tend to kind of dry up your seasoning a bit faster. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to cook on a lower temperature as well. If you see it start sticking, um, you know, I like using avocado oil, but also butter as well. And you're only gonna add as much as you need. Don't go overboard, uh, just enough so it's not sticking. So we're gonna let this reduce and we'll come back to it when it's time to add the spices. So let's go ahead and fast forward this part. So our potatoes are boiling and once you can stick a fork in it where it evenly and smoothly goes in throughout the whole potato, then they're done. So this is reducing, we're gonna go ahead and Help it along, smash the potato or the tomatoes. Because I'm really looking forward to this and I'm being a little impatient here. I don't know if you're hungry, but I am. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna. Okay, so our tomatoes have begun to reduce. I'm gonna go ahead and add our spices at this point. So again, we have a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of dried garlic, quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Add that in. So I've also got my oven at temperature. I've warmed that up to 250 degrees. If your oven has a broil setting, we're gonna go ahead and use the broil setting. I've got another cast iron pan already warming up in there as well. And we're gonna use that to finish off the potatoes. So once the potatoes, again, are soft all the way through, still need some time to cook. So once those are soft all the way through, we'll get to the next step. Okay, so our potatoes are done. We're gonna use our fork here. Evenly goes in nice and smoothly, soft. So that's how we want it. Our tomatoes are nice. Looks good. Smells really good. So we're gonna go ahead and drain this and I'll be right back. All 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and drained the water from the potatoes. And now we're gonna add our spices. So we've got a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of dried garlic. We've got one teaspoon of sumac and one teaspoon of dried dill. Add that all in. And I'm gonna use a little bit of avocado oil just to make sure that they don't stick together. Okay. Go ahead and stir this all in. If you like the taste of the sumac, you can add more. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and add this to my cast iron pan that's in the oven. I've got the broil setting going. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this back out. Be careful, it is very, very hot. And we're going to add our potatoes. Okay. And we're going to and we're going to cook this until it browns. So remember, they're already cooked, they're ready. So we just want to finish them off in the oven. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and finish our omelet here. So I've got my two eggs. One. And two. Okay. So to make sure that this doesn't stick, we're gonna constantly stir it. We're gonna play around with the heat. Right now I've got it on really low. I'm gonna raise that just a bit. Okay, so I'll go ahead and continue videotaping, but we'll fast forward this part, but you'll see the whole process. So here we have our omelet, and this looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on really low at this point. And so by the time our potatoes are ready, this will be completely ready as well. So we're going to let that sit, take a look at our potatoes. nice okay so the next step is just to make sure our potatoes are finished off get those nice and brown and we're gonna heat up our tortilla as well here's a quick look at our potatoes they're starting to brown I can smell the aroma of the dry dill and the sumac and you know what I think we're ready to put this breakfast burrito together okay so everything's ready, our omelet is ready, our potatoes are ready. Now it's time to put this thing together. Put this off to the side. Got my tortilla. Grab our potatoes. Now, to time, now it's time to build our breakfast burrito. So, 
take some of this omelet, put it down. Top it off with some of our potatoes. And then we'll save the rest for a garnish as well. So here I've got, I don't know if you can see or not, but that Thai chili pepper that my mom made. Got that finely chopped. It can be a little spicy, so if you are using this, just keep it in mind. Go ahead and add that. And we're going to top it off with our avocado. Nice and even. Make sure you get a bite of avocado in every bite. Alright. Now, if you like sriracha, by all means. Or if you want to substitute for your favorite salsa, go and add some of that. Okay, so now we're going to fold this. So we're going to start with the ends first. So we're going to bring that in and I'm going to roll this so it comes out towards me a bit. And we're going to fold the inside in. And just roll it all in. Go ahead and push that last bit in. Flatten it out. All right, so last final step is we're gonna pop this into the toaster, get a nice brown coat, and we're ready to eat. And here you can see I've got my breakfast burrito in the toaster. I've got it to its maximum setting of 450 degrees at toast. And we're gonna go ahead and toast this until it's just brown. Only should take about a couple minutes. All right, so let's check in on our breakfast burrito. Go ahead and grab this. And here is our breakfast burrito, nice and evenly brown. Okay, and for the final cut, So here we have our breakfast burrito. We're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. As a side garnish. side. All right. And here we have today's homemade breakfast burrito. If you want to top it off with some sriracha, again, I like spice to each their own. But it's really time to eat. So let's give this a bite. Mm. I really do want your feedback. Make this at home, let me know what it tastes like, how it comes out, what you need help with, and we'll talk it through. Until then, enjoy your day, enjoy the food that you make, enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, and we'll keep doing this.